In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for the practice exam number one for Math 1220, in which case we have to set up the integral that'll compute the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals x squared and y equals x plus two. Notice that we set up the integral, but we do not evaluate it. I'm gonna first try to consider the picture in play here. Uh, so we have the parabola y equals x squared. That's gonna give you something like the following. We have to also consider the line y equals x plus 2. That's a line whose x whose y intercept is 2 and whose slope is positive. So we'd expect something like this. There's some point of intersection here. There's some point of intersection here. We're looking for this region. We want to find the area of that region. So let's first figure out where these things intersect each other. So I set the two equal to each other. x squared is equal to x plus 2. If you set the right-hand side equal to 0, you'll get x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. I am expecting that one of the answers would be positive, one of them would be negative. I can probably get away with factoring this thing. Factors of negative 2, um, let's try uh, x minus 2 and x plus 1 equals 0. That would give us the solutions of 2 and negative 1. And sure enough, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Uh, negative 2x plus 1x is equal to negative x. That is the correct factorization. So these numbers have got to be 2 and negative 1 um, as I anticipated. Okay. Now during this interval, um, the line is always above the parabola for the entire time. So that would tell us that the area will be the integral from negative 1 to 2. We're going to take the function on top, which is x plus 2, and then we subtract from the function on the bottom, which is x squared. So we would get the integral from negative 1 to 2 of the function x plus 2 minus x squared uh, dx. And do, do remember the dx. That is part of the integral. If you don't have it, you would be missing something there. Uh, the bounds are necessary. And that then gives us the integral. We don't have to evaluate it. So that actually is all of the problem.